from class starting your activity number 7 in which you are going to, uh, to uh, you are going to see these pictures and then you are going to tell that which activity is it and which bones are involved in it like the number 1 is river rafting and the bones that are involved in this are humerus a hand, a hand bone radius ala and joint and joints are the wrist the hind the elbow joint and the ball and socket the shoulder joint so the next diagram is about cricket uh, cricket so the bones are humerus radius ala and the leg bones are the femur and the joint is patella now you are going to uh, let us know that which activity is it and which muscles are involved in it so the next activity is activity 8 in which you are supposed to take two lollipops or the ice cream sticks and then you are going to join them like this with the help of tape over here uh, at the joint and this is the rubber band or the inflated balloon which act as muscle then you are going to answer these questions like which part of the model resembles bone so these are the uh, these are uh, resembling bone so ice cream sticks then the second question is which part of your model resembles joint so this is the joint and we have fixed tape over here so tape uh, is going to be mentioned over here then the third part which model act as muscles this is the muscle and what is it it is the rubber band or the inflated balloon now uh, you have to mention the part of a bone that move in the same pattern as this model so the leg and hand uh, use uh, usually use these movement uh, while our body is moving so uh, moving towards end the message for today is positive thinking will let you uh, do everything in better manner thank you so much Welcome class starting your activity number nine in which uh, you have been given with a diagram and then you are uh, you are supposed to mention what is tendon and then the bone that is pulled is to be colored green and the bone that is squeezed is to be colored red so first of all this is the tendon and if you see in the diagram this bone is squeezed the tendon bone is being squeezed so you are going to color this portion the tendon as red and the uh, lower portion the tricep basically it is the tricep it is the bicep and the tricep is pulled so you are going to color it green sorry the tendon is colored red and the whole bone is colored green now uh, what is the function of this tendon the main function of the tendon is to connect muscles uh, skeletal muscles to bone the next question is about that how you can keep your muscles healthy we can keep our muscles healthy by taking proper food doing exercise regularly consuming enough protein and a plenty of vitamin d and vitamin k these are the steps that we should follow to keep ourselves healthy now moving towards your activity number 10 in which you are uh, you are supposed to differentiate between the two terms the vertebrates and the invertebrates so first of all vertebrates vertebrates are the animals that leg backbone like these animals do not do not have any backbone but invertebrate sorry vertebrates are the animal that have backbone sorry and invertebrates are the animal that do not have any backbone like they leg backbone so vertebrates are the large animals invertebrate are the small and slow animals then uh, examples like fishes birds reptiles amphibians they come under vertebrates and worms jellyfish they come under invertebrates so you have to fill uh, this uh, table this is the animal kingdom animals are divided in two terms in two groups one are the vertebrates the other one is the invertebrates so i have mentioned uh, three for vertebrates and two for invertebrates and the remaining are to fill by uh, you guys so vertebrates are mammals fishes birds and the invertebrates are arthropods and annelids now you are going to fill the remaining uh, groups over here now uh, moving towards end the message for today is the difference between the ordinary and extraordinary is that little extra thank you so much in class starting your activity number 11 in which you are supposed to fill in the blanks by using the word given uh, above like the invertebrate the vertebrate four five bird fish reptiles 
amphibians, insects, gold, octopus, bird, exoskeleton, reptile, snail, sea urchins, uh, scorpio, worm and mammals. You are going to fill these by using these words. So here is a uh, hint given uh, in a few uh, blanks like F. So you have F and then there are three blanks so you can go for the word that are, that is having uh, these but, uh, like you you can go for hint in these cases so first of all i have solved few for you for your ease and then the other one uh, and the remaining ones are going to be solved by you guys so an animal that has a backbone is called vertebrate we have discussed in the recent activities that the animals having the backbone are vertebrates and the animal that lay backbones are the invertebrates so there are five main groups of vertebrates and six main group of invertebrate so five then uh, the six the six is not given over here so uh, we have discussed it in the uh, recent exercise so the main five uh, groups of vertebrates are mammal reptile fish amphibians and birds then dash like ants and these are invertebrate insects insects do not have any backbone so dash and dash and cuttlefish are the mollusks that live in the sea. So uh, for this you can go for like O starting with uh, word O and is the animal that live in the sea. So it can be octopus and uh, this is starting with S and also live in the sea. So you can go for this word snail S N A I L. It can be for like this. So more reptile and fish are cold blooded then the mammals are the bird uh, uh, birds are mammals and birds are warm blooded uh, animals dash and dash lay eggs or verte invertebrate lay eggs so you can uh, go for the blanks and you can solve that which, which of these animals usually lay eggs then the animal like dash and dash are called uh, archid and they have hard bodies on dash so you are going to fill the remaining uh, blanks by yourself so now moving toward your activity number 12 in which you are supposed to uh, and you are supposed to fill the crossword puzzles using these words over here in the word bank so first of all the uh, the word that to be that are to be filled in the cross uh, across uh, area are to be are in uh, horizontal way and the word that are filled to uh, in downward condition are going to be in vertical array so first of all store nutrients and is generally much larger in plant cells than the animals so vicule is the organelle that store nutrients and is much larger in plant cells than the animal cells so the, this is the fourth uh, column so you can go for the word fourth over here and it is going to be filled like this the, then the second one is six one the processes and packages uh, protein and lipid in the cell this is the golgi so you can go for six here is to be filled with the word golgi so the seventh one is provide the energy for the cell to move mitochondria so uh, mitochondria is to be filled by me then uh, within the nucleus and uh, and uh, nucleus and produces ribosome nucleolus this is also this is going to be filled in the blank eight so over here then contain the enzyme necessary for digestion within the cell this is the lysosomes lysosomes are to be filled over there then provide rigidity for the plant cell it is not found in the animal cell so uh, cell wall is the uh, wall, is the membrane that do not occur in uh, animal cell it is also present in, it is only present in plant cell so it is to be filled in 10th uh, uh, block then direct uh, and uh, control all the parts of the body so nucleus nucleus control it uh, so it is to be filled in the blank one over here the covering of the animal cell is cell membrane so it is to be filled in the second block then produces protein and amino acid is ribosome it is to be filled in the third block and contain chlorophyll chloroplast is the organelle that contain chlorophyll it is to be filled in the fifth blank over here so moving towards end the message for today is no pressure no diamond thank you so much assalamu class starting your activity number 13 in which uh, you are uh, supposed to identify the group that matches these example and the and, and using this description so first of all here is the plant that has description that it is it founded damp places 
often in water it is it has simple leaves no roots no stems uh, it has no uh, roots stems or flowers so mosses is the plant group in which uh, there is no root stem or flower and it found in damp places then uh, the second group second group is that it uh, lives in many environment it has many shapes it has roots to absorb water and mineral it produces seeds it produces flower for reproduction purposes so these uh, plants are angiosperm then the third one is that it also found in damp shaded places it has roots leaves uh, in ferns but have no flower or seed so these plant group belongs to fern family so now you are going to identify this one that lives in water uh, it either floating or attached to the bottom i am going to give you a hint for this that this is it is the first uh, producer that uh, found on the earth and it starts with the letter a so moving toward your activity number 14 in which you are going to color the pictures uh, like the color which produces uh, green uh, spores is to be colored green and the plant that produces cones are to be colored uh, brown so first of all uh, these are the plant that produces uh, cones so you are going to color it brown then uh, the plant that are going to produce flowers are to be circled so uh, this plant the wedge and the carnation plant produces flower so these uh, two are to be are to be circled now you are to support uh, you are going to identify then uh, that which of these produces spores you are supposed to uh, color them green so uh, it is to be done by you guys now moving towards end the message for today is we can't help everyone but uh, everyone can help someone thank you so much Assalamualaikum class starting your activity number 15 in which uh, you are going to perform a germination experiment and uh, you are supposed to take uh, the material as cotton containers water and 10 to 20 seeds so uh, what you are supposed to do that you have to take 20 seeds and you are supposed to soak them overnight then on the next day you are going to take two containers with cotton piece in it uh, and then you are going to place 10 seeds in one container and the other 10 seeds on the in the other container and then you are going to place one container in dark and the other container in light and uh, you are going to sprinkle the cotton piece with water so that it doesn't dry out and you are going to wait for 5 days to see the result that how many seeds germinate in each container aapne karna kya hai ki aapne jo hai wo 10 se 10 to 20 seeds lene hain aur aapne unko puri raat pani mein bhigo ke rakh dena hai then aapne kya karna hai ki aapne do containers lene hain ek ek container ke andar bhi ek cotton ka piece rakhna hai dusre container ke andar bhi cotton ka piece rakhna hai agar aapke paas cotton nahi hai to aap tissue ko bhi use kar sakte hain then aapne kya karna hai ki aapne 10 seed ek container ke andar rakhe hain usko aapne dark area mein rakh dena hai jahan pe light nahi pahunchegi sunlight and the other aapne jo hai usko light ke light mein rakhna hai and then aapne jo hai wo dekhna hai aapne 5 din कॉटन को ड्राई नहीं होने देना मतलब उसमें हल्का हल्का पानी के छींटे या थोड़ा सा पानी स्प्रे करते रहना ताकि आपके कॉटन ड्राई ना हो और आपने पाँच दिन बाद देखना है कि कितने ईच कंटेनर में कितने सीड्स जो हैं वो जर्मिनेट करके और आपने जो भी रिजल्ट होगा लाइक अगर डार्क वाले में एक सीड जर्मिनेट किया है और जो आपने लाइट में रखा हुआ है उसमें एट सीड जर्मिनेट कर गए हैं तो आप यहाँ पे मेंशन करेंगे नाउ मूविंग टूअर्ड योर एक्टिविटी नंबर सिक्सटीन इन विच यू आर सपोज टू ड्रॉ एंड शो द स्टेजेस ऑफ जर्मिनेशन सो फर्स्ट ऑफ ऑल दिस इज सीड द सीड आफ्टर इट इट हैज़ बीन प्रोवाइडेड विद द रिक्वायर्ड कंडीशन लाइक द सन लाइक द वाटर इट्स प्राउट एंड फॉर्म सीडनिंग लाइक दिस इज द शूट एंड द रूट that is arising from seed this is a shoot that is going to move upward and this, these are the root that are going to absorb minerals and water from the soil then this after this uh, seed germinate it is converted into young plant and then the young plant further uh, changes into adult plant this is the adult plant and the adult plant uh, usually have a flower and seed so this is the adult plant now moving towards end the message for today is creativity is intelligence having fun thank you so much assalamu alaikum class starting your activity number 18 in which you are supposed to fill in, fill in these blank uh, 
so the first one is the nervous system has two main parts the cns and the pns so cns is the central nervous system and pns is the peripheral nervous system then the second one is that the blood moves in the tubes called blood vessels then the third one is in the lungs there are tiny air sacs called alveoli then the other thing in the blank is that the mammals are divided into three groups that is monotremes uh, uh, meriopil and the placenta then moving toward your next uh, blank that is microorganism that destroy other microorganisms are used in dash you are going to fill it by yourself uh, which are medicines that help to fight against diseases now the next blank is that heart is divided into dash chambers four chambers uh, the other one is also to be done by you guys like cardiac muscles are dash and the last one is plant which produces their seeds in dash or called the conifers so in the plant that produces seeds in cones are the conifers so moving towards end the message for today is rise above the storm and you will find the sunshine morning class starting your activity number 20 in which uh, the material, this is an experiment that you are going to perform and the uh, things required are the garden soil, the water, the glass, jar. So for in first step you are going to take a clean straight sided jam jar and then you are going to fill one third portion uh, about third of the way up uh, about third portion with the uh, garden soil and then you are going to take another jar in which there is a clean water and you are going to uh, put that uh, clean water into the jar until the jar is completely full. Now you are going to take a stick and then you are going to mix the soil and the, uh, and the uh, water and after uh, getting it mixed thoroughly you are going to leave it for one to two hours. After that you are going to see that there are few layers found in the uh, jar. So uh, you should uh, you are going to tick uh, all these points after seeing that like the first one is the sand particles are the biggest and weigh more than the soil so the bottom layer will, will be the sand part of the soil any pebbles will also be, the, be at the bottom so uh, as the sand particles are the biggest and they have more weight than the soil particles so the bottom layer consists of this so uh, I have uh, ticket because it is going to happen then uh, you are going to uh, see all these remaining parts and then you are going to take after the layer uh, being observed by you guys. Now moving towards end, the message for today is the best way to predict your future is to create it. Thank you so much. Assalamu alaikum class, starting your activity number 22 in which you are supposed to draw a diagram of digestive system. This is the simple uh, digestive system diagram. I am going to explain it to you guys and then you are supposed to draw this diagram over the given space like on page number 55. So the, the, the digestive system or the process of digestion start with the mouth or the mouth cavity. This is the mouth cavity. From there the digestive uh, system uh, starts. This is the pharynx. Pharynx connect the mouth cavity with the esophagus portion. Now this esophagus further extends to the stomach and stomach is uh, then uh, and the stomach after digesting, digesting uh, food releases it into the intestine into the small intestine this portion is a small intestine and then uh, after the absorption take uh, took place in the small intestine the food is then or the material is then transferred into the large intestine this is the large intestine here the further digestion uh, the absorption process take place and after uh, all the digestion completed the waste product is then uh, releases out from the body through the opening known as anus so there are some few organs shown uh, which uh, if you want to you can go for them uh, otherwise you can skip it like the liver liver is basically responsible for the production of many hormones and uh, blood then the gallbladder and pancreas they usually uh, contain many hormones that control many uh, activities of your body you can go for them or you can skip them you can on only go for this simple diagram like the mouth cavity furnace esophagus the stomach the small intestine the large intestine and the uh, opening known as anus now moving towards your activity number activity number 23 in which you are supposed to draw a diagram of plant cell so this is the simple plant cell the outer layer of the plant cell is a cell wall 
then after cell wall there is another membrane known as the cell membrane then there is a cytoplasm which contain many organelles this this area is the cytoplasm now this is the nucleus nucleus contain the hereditary material this is the chloroplast which contain chlorophyll and uh, chlorophyll is responsible for the process of photosynthesis and this is the large vacuole that contain water and many uh, other uh, substances it can be waste product as well uh, the uh, the uh, plant cell contain the vacuole that is larger in size than the animal cell now moving towards end the message for today is happiness is not by chance it is by choice thank you so much